You know what it's going to be up there to dare count? Oh, Monday, Tuesday? One degree. One. One. You ain't going, are you? One. <laughs> One. Yeah. Well, I got to go up there and drain all them stinking pipes. <laughs> oh, you ain't got to do that. They'll be busted when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just up below Lake DeGray. Oh, yeah, because... Well, right Tuesday, under Hot Spring. Tuesday, I'm supposed to be hunting in Carlisle. What's that going to be? I bet that's going to be cold. Carlisle, Arkansas. I get there on Monday night. Oh, yeah, you're going to catch it just right. It's one. Yeah, yeah. With a high of 21. That's right. It's one? One degrees. One. Monday morning. I ain't go. Is it Monday morning or Tuesday morning? One degree. Tuesday morning will be. That'll one. be Tuesday morning. Yeah. Somebody fix freeze their butt off. Not me. Mm. It's they gonna, gonna Wednesday. They can have that. Wednesday is gonna, gonna, yeah. it's gonna yeah, warm up to forty three Wednesday. Somebody, I mean a uh, thirty two. Somebody says freeze their tail off one 30. degree. It says one twenty. Oh, thirty four. On Wednesday. Yeah. It's gonna warm up to thirty four. I remember when we was on you can the take a layer off. Brand. We, it was six degrees that out there. And it was it was a different cold though. It wasn't a wet cold. It was dry. So One it was, degree is cold. I mean, six, you, six wasn't. I was shocked. Oh yeah. It, it says that you put the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to Louisiana. Yeah. We have ice. We don't have snow. Let me tell you what you don't want to do. You don't want to eat them, what did I just eat? Wasabi peanuts. Wasabi yeah, and peanut. wipe your eyes. <laughs> no, no, I told you, that, hey, we as, soon as, I don't been into, as soon as I cracked the shell. My right eye is on fire. Yeah, something's wrong here because it's just a, it was just a fireball. Yeah, that's and, my right but, eye But, right hey, now. then it's gone. I said, this is so weird. Well, I welcome said, back to like, the nut yeah. room. That's yeah. what you don't want to do. That's it. Don't Everyone's rub your eyes after eating wasabi peanuts, boys. That's wisdom. They're awesome. Every once in a while, we're just uh, having a conversation. I, Hunter realizes he just hits record. Yeah. That's it. And then he just I like it. it. Well, Goblin, welcome back. Yeah. Man, thank you. Good grief. How long have you been sick? I was sick for three days. For three days? Mm. It was. Well, you got over it before I you ain't crapped on myself you? so much since I was a baby. Oh, good grief. Hey. Well, that's graphic. Hey. Did anybody clean you? Or did you have to clean I yourself? I had to. He had to clean himself. That's pitiful. Turn on the shower. That's it. Turn on the shower. But a bidet this is was, weird. I don't know what this was and throwing up. I don't throw up ever. You puked? But you did yeah. this time. Yeah. Paul was like, know. you got something. Oh, you got one of them stomach viruses then. Oh, well, it was worse than that. Three days worth? Yes. Oh, you had it going out both ends, huh? I was so weak. I was weak as a kitten. Mm. Yep. Go sit down on the commode, trash can in your lap. Oh, wow. Did you, Look, how you much tell. weight did you lose? Oh, I, I, I lost, I dreamed I lost less than a thousandth of a gram. I was like, OMG. He, he dreamed it. My man just said, OMG. <laughs> Did you see the look on his face? <laughs> I did. What happened there? He said, OMG. I what figured did... you'd appreciate that one. I yeah. Did. <laughs> you so you dreamed you didn't lose any weight. How much weight did you Less lose? Less than a gram. Five pounds. Five pounds. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. man. Hey, oh, new... I didn't eat for three days. New year, new you. Right. Good. I mean, that's that's where we at. I mean, I a lot of people do something crazy camp. to start well, off you the year. How you get something when you're in the woods? I don't know. I'm just trying to. So, how many times did you soil yourself? That's not probably about five. It you me. heard the expression "Don't trust a fart." <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, that is that's a yep. true statement. Yep. I thought people just saying it, you know, ha ha, for a joke. No, no, no they, and they, a joke. No, and and a joke. There are times in life when you cannot yeah. trust one. Yeah. yeah. So it took you five times to get come to no, that. No, it's like, look, no, uh uh. <laughs> this, well, they got to figure it out. No. Yeah, I think I'd have figured out no. it at least just two. Hey, that's why Paula said you're a hard head. This, so. this, deal, this deal was like, I'm not going to give you a cramp to warn you that you need to go sit on the pot. Yeah. This has happened. I'm just, you're just. It happens to people. And pouring water, I'm sure. 
Yeah. Oh. Did you get to the point where you just had to pat? But they no, would have fixed. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. There was no more wiping. I was after the second day. Yeah. <laughs> I should have brought you some of Jackson and them's cream over. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to apply it to you, but you know. No. You, we okay. always go back to bathroom humor and things. I was, this isn't even funny, though. This isn't even no. funny. This, ah. just, this is just sad. I mean, this is, I never had anything like this. I mean, my man sold himself five times. That's terrible. Mm. That's a bad deal. It's bad. I'm That's kidding. right. You do not want this. Yeah, you had a bad, bad And it fire. just come on during the night. And then it just went away? Not till three days. Three days. Did you I, eat or three drink? Days, I tried I to eat. Paula made some soup one night. Potato soup. Potato soup's good. I tried oh, to eat that oh, one night. But a lot of dairy hey, in nope, potato wrong soup. soup. Wrong soup. Wrong. Anytime you're sick, get chicken noodle soup. We got. I did that too. I tried uh, that. That didn't work. She made tomato soup one night. I, I chicken soup didn't night. help you. You well, bound to felt whatever, better. Whatever this was. <laughs> Chicken soup wasn't out there. It said, I got something for that chicken soup. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, there you go. Like, it, it's fixing the Normally, hey, if you feel bad or got oh, any kind of upset stomach, chicken now, soup will settle is... it down and take care of it. Mm. Yeah. It'd be, That's it'd why be I eat a can, seen. like, you know. Oh, I eat, you know. You know, at least go in the bathroom two or three cans of wheat. Just sit there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm serious. You just pop two or three cans of chicken ate, noodle soup a week? I ate, hey, two or Not three when cans you of food, chicken soup a week. No, How sir. many meals you eat a week that come from a can or a jar? You're rich. I actually eat a lot out of out of a can. Did I nobody you tell well, you that I'm you're serious. rich? And look, if you, oh, if you open, look, if you open my cabinet, there's what? A case and a half of chicken noodle soup. So what? you go to Sam's to get your stuff. Yeah, yeah. They buy them. They buy them. Why? He gets because hey, case. chicken noodle soup is healthy. Yeah, but you could like get it from a uh, like any restaurant. Nope. Nope. You, nope. Go to no. like the the. Nope. Dope. They don't know. They don't nope. know how to build it. Nope. Don't know how to make it. Over Campbell's? Uh, no. Hey. No. I'm telling you, nobody makes chicken noodle soup as good as Campbell. You are eating canned chicken. Yeah. That is cubed. That, that is. I'm not positive it's chicken. Oh, no, it hey, is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close enough. It's close enough. I ain't enough of it. It's cubed it. ham, man. Are you really about to judge him for this? No, no. Hey, no. I've, I've never seen a ham in the cubed wild. Ham, oh, no, 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 no. Tell me about hey. it. Uh -oh, trust me I when I tell you. I mean, cubed ham chicken. rules. I mean. Cubed chicken, I'm off of. Hey, I, trust me when I tell you. That cubed is chicken. Okay. Okay. But, like, why You can't not? fake that. Okay. Chicken, oh, you, you chicken noodle soup, you can't fake it and you can't match it. But what I'm saying is, like, why not run by Chick fil A and say, hey, can you give me three gallons no. of chicken noodle soup? No. And then you pay no. like extra for it and then throw away the other two gallons because you're sci and life's still the same. No. And you're not eating Campbell's but, chicken noodle you know, soup. Y'all are real big on Because you can't put a case of that yeah. in, your, in your pantry. Yeah. Hey. But I mean, just go every, uh, send somebody, you're sci. I'm Look, against no, canned soup. No, no, no. So you, you can't be against that soup. I'm. Whenever I was in college and I made five dollars and fifteen cents an hour. Did you uh, eat romaine noodles? No, I I was a chunky soup man. I loved chunky soup back then. <laughs> and then I tasted regular soup that was just regular because I which ain't no good. More no, it's way better. No, it ain't. It ain't no good. There ain't no flavor to it. No flavor. No. Chicken noodle soup. If you want chicken noodle soup and it's have flavor, it's got to be Campbell's. Got to be. Okay. It ain't none of my there that are even close to it. Are you joking? Uh, no, I'm dead serious. I tell you what you do. I tell you what you do. And I, hey, I'll pay for it. You go and you buy every chicken soup there is available. Oh, I'm in. And okay. you're going to blind taste them? Uh, and you know, you no. eat them. No, you eat them. I, no, I don't want to eat them because uh, I ain't going to eat but one. If it ain't Campbell, I don't eat it. Here's what Here's what we should do then. Uh, let me get three chicken noodle soups. You blindfold taste them and tell me which one's Campbell's. No. Clearly Campbell's no. is going to be the best. Oh, no, no. I'm not going to waste my time eating the other two. Ain't okay, because I know Campbell's is the best, okay? The rest of them don't have any flavor. 
I'm going to have my wife make chicken noodle soup. I'm not going to do it. Oh, my God. I'm not going to waste my time, son. Just okay, so you can I'm have She's going to make that bread Look, with this it. This is like, uh, let's say, oh, yeah. This is like. She uh, would, but uh, not anymore. Omega XL. What? This is just like Omega XL. This has got a hundred years of research and development. And they ain't changing. Okay. And ain't nobody ever beat them. Martin, are you gonna, not going to back me up at all? You're not a chicken soup, man. No. no. I'll tell you what I used to like. <laughs> what what no. was that? In a word, <laughs> no. You know what I used to like? A long, back when I was little, they had uh, chicken and dumplings. But the dumplings was a little round ball. Mm-hmm. Them things was good. Campbell's made chicken and dumplings? Yeah. Now, let me tell you, you put that up against a lot of other stuff. I they just, was good. No, no. I don't eat many meals from a can. You don't? No, no. That's no, just like, hey, that's you, just you like, don't do okay. that anymore. And I mean, it's like, I just, I don't. Like. There, here's another thing that has been tried and tested by years and years of research and development. <laughs> Marlboro Reds. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fix some paper, bro. Oh, good oh. grief. Okay. Hey, did your, did your mom and daddy make you eat it when hey, you were hey, hey, hey. Anything, you kind of, you had any kind of cold flu or anything like that? Yeah. You fixed to eat some Vicks yeah. paper up yeah. and get it rubbed on your chest. Or, and you know what? Cut, the same people probably own both of them at this point. And the other one was. Because they hey, taste the same, too. You know, and the other one was, was casserole. Oh, that was another that. hey. That was another major medical breakthrough. Okay, casserole. Mm-hmm. If something else, yeah. you hey, you fix these. Then they figured the they can put it in engines and run them. Hold on, Man. Campbell's. <laughs> well, hey, if it'll run an engine without it breaking down for a hundred thousand miles, guess what it'll do for a human being? That's right. <laughs> hey, you get a hundred thousand out of you. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> that room for room. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you had SpaghettiOs lately? SpaghettiOs? Uh-oh. No. SpaghettiOs? No. Like, six years ago, no. my kids had SpaghettiOs, and I was like, you know what? These are awesome. They I eat them cold? I can't wait to try this again. Open the can, just start eating them. Oh, oh no, 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 That's cold. That, yeah, that was, cold. yeah, that's one Cabinet of them. Cabinet cold. Yeah, that's one, of, that's one of them. Okay. Yeah. What about? Spaghetti. What about? Uh, SpaghettiOs. What's that's that by that Campbell's. Uh, hey, well, hey, I. Look, I said chicken noodle soup. That's it? That's the only one? That's the only thing I'm giving a stamp of approval on is chicken noodle soup. I'm bringing okay. three soups into this room no. one day. What soon. about chili? You got to have, when you have them gourmet hot dogs, you got to have that chili out of a can. <laughs> All right, time out. <laughs> he says, oh, we got to take a break. Why don't we got to hey, take a break? Martin said he's had enough Because we're about to talk about chili from yeah. the yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. we're... we're yeah. We're going down this road. We'll be back. We've right gone too hey. far. Look, it's a new year, new you. Everybody says, I'm tired of wasting time. I'm tired of doing this. So if you want to do something productive with your time, go see our friends at Hillsdale College and sign up for some free online courses. Look, they got 40 of them to choose from. That's a lot. They're free. 40. They're free. Unbelievable. Look, welcome to Hillsdale's free online courses there you go but you can discover the beauty of the bible and the there Genesis we go. story ancient christianity the real american founding a conversation huh. c.s lewis we all know he did a lot i kind of like history stuff civil rights in american history classic children's literature the great american story a land of hope now see that interests me right there yeah i'm actually interested i'm more interested in the genesis story reading, reading biblical narratives because that's kind of where this whole shebang started amen that's why i'm so excited that hillsdale college is offering more than 40 free online courses in the most important and enduring subject wow you can learn about the work c.s lewis stories of the book of genesis the meaning of the u.s constitution the rise and fall of the Roman Republic, which if you're on TikTok right now, apparently Look, is a big change, deal. You so, could choose your lecturer, too. You can. Or you can learn about the history of the ancient Christian church with Hillsdale College's online courses, all available for free. That's right, for free. And look, right now we're going into an election year. Highly recommend you sign up for Constitution 101, the meaning and history of the U.S. Constitution in the 12-lecture course. You'll explore the design and purpose of the Constitution, the 
challenges it faced during the Civil War and how it has been undermined by more than a century by progressivism and liberalism. The course is self-paced so you can start whenever, wherever. You can enroll now in Constitution 101. Our country needs more Americans who understand the Constitution and can defend the freedom of the American people against the encroachments of an increasingly large and unaccountable government. And like I said, we're going into an election year, so if you really want to brush up on some things and see if you're like, oh, the elections don't matter, that you can go through there, take a bunch of classes, and you'll figure out exactly why elections do matter. And it's really cool that we still have elections, right? I mean, so there you go. Yeah. That's a and look, you can read the reviews for yourself on there from the people that have taken the classes and all the and things. There's plenty of signs. Oh yeah, there's you got chemistry, which is the one that I did sign up for because I need to brush up on chemistry. Chemistry was my hardest subject in college. Out yeah, of all the trees, where I draw the line. <laughs> 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 There you go. So Godwin, Godwin always finding a way to make a joke. Look, all you have to do is go right now to hillsdale.edu slash duck to enroll. There's no cost and it's easy to get started. That's hillsdale.edu slash duck to register. Hillsdale.edu slash duck and join up. You stay in the can for chili? No, no, I, I don't go. In a, in a can for chili. Yeah, you do. So you no, eat no, chicken no, then? You, you do eat, when no, you eat them gourmet hey. hot dogs, you no, do. No, 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 I don't. Yeah, I make you my do. own chili. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, I do. When we have him down there, it's hormel chili. Oh, you talking about Phil's house? Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, you know, if I met somebody else, so I've hey, always you, been you got to eat what you eat. So you know, you're, I, you're a hormel guy? Yeah. I'm a hormel guy. How come that that rack of wolf chili even exists? Do people eat that stuff? No. That's just for decoration. I'm going to come out. I, I, I have to be honest here. Yeah, that's fine. I've eaten a lot of wolf chili back in the day. Really? Woo! Wait a minute. Wolf Isn't chili? wolf the one that makes the chili that they call hot dog sauce or something weird? I believe so. And if, yeah. you, if, if you are ever in a situation where you need just to feed a lot of people... Yeah. A block of Velveeta. Yeah. A pound of breakfast sausage. Yep. And a can of wolf chili and a can of Rotel. And just keep on trucking. And just, you'll end up like Godwin was last week. But that sounds like a Woody I'd Rogers. I'd say if you had a used horn mail, you wouldn't have had that problem. I was saying, so Probably. That, that, sounds like, that sounds like a Woody Robertson recipe. But when the Saints won the Super Bowl, I was cooking that every weekend for everybody. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hey, also, <laughs> I ain't buying chili in a can no more. <laughs> I've okay. made it. <laughs> All right. So can. Yeah. Well, I ain't doing it. I just got to. What else you eat? So you eat chicken noodle soup. Do you get like chicken out of the can for recipes? The chicken no. in the can? Yeah. The stuff that smells I don't like cat do, food? I don't do much chicken. No. He's a he's a. I, no, no, he's I don't. A, he's a because soup of chicken. salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah, I don't do much chicken because of that. You'd rather have E. coli? Uh, well, I'm just saying. He ain't worried I, about that's it. it. That's he ain't why worried about just, E. coli. He yeah. just worried about salmonella. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. He likes Campbell's chicken noodle soup because he's against fresh chicken. No. <laughs> hey, he I don't like Campbell's get salmonella. Hey, salmonella. <laughs> whenever I've got something wrong with my system. So do you eat the, system. do you eat the regulation chicken noodle like in the just the white yeah. and red? Yeah. Like yeah. just the little yeah, noodles. Just re it's regular chicken, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. It's the noodles and the little cube yeah, chicken little and that's cube it. Chicken. Yeah, it's that's chicken. It. Yeah. So do you eat like the chicken installers? Like you know <laughs> no. they make the. Oh, I no. forgot about them. No. Them are good. No. Yeah, same. they are. It's the same material. No, it ain't. No. Yeah, it is. Okay. Same thing. No. Same thing. No. It ain't same thing. Just different look. <laughs> different look. Hey, no, that's for kids. Okay. Do you I still eat, eat a jar of olives a night? Uh. Do you still eat a jar oh, yeah. of olives? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, if you open one of my drawers in the cabinet, you know, it, it's two things in there. It's pepper sauce. Yeah. Okay, and then the rest of it is olives with, yeah. with jalapenos. You know, I think you will make it to 100. He will. A lot of preservatives in there. As, oh, no. as much salt as you take in in a day, you're going to be well preserved. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I'm just saying. Between hey, the chicken noodle yeah. soup, Mr. and Mrs. T's, the olives. And when they now, dig hey, them look, up 100 years hey, later, it'll still look the same. Don't knock. I don't knock Mr. Um, and Mrs. T's. I'm, I'm not knocking well, hey, at all. That thing is what, that's what got me through COVID-19. Is hey, all I could drink, I didn't want nothing to eat. And the only thing I drank was, I told Philip, 
So salt I said, hey, and mater. Go get it. Hey, and he so he brought four. He first he brought me uh what is it? V eight? Yeah, trash. Yeah, that's trash. Made that's by right. the people of Campbell's yeah. soup. No, no. Well they so brought that in clear. there and I said, Philip, what did I tell you? I said, This is junk. And he he thought I was joking until I chunked it in the trash can. <laughs> I said, Now go back to the store and get me if it don't have me Mr. and Mrs. T. Chunk it. Chunk Which we then no, got get it. Yeah, and then we look, I, I said that on here. here. I said that on here, and look, oh. hey, they started coming in by the gallons. I'm aware. It all came to my office. Okay. Mm. Very, look, very I aware. still got some of it in my cupboard. Well, you know, the good news is not going bad. Well, I was just fixed that because, hey. Ever. When it's I need it, for hey, I just put it in the refrigerator, get it ice cold, and hey. There's more look, salt I'll than that I'll kill that stuff. gallon. I tried that one day on here. Maters is for hamburgers. Know, hey, you got to acquire it's like wine. I don't know why you drink it. No, no, it's like it's like wine. You got to acquire a taste for it. I guarantee you. I've never acquired a taste for wine. I got a serious taste for Mister and Mister T. If he's got, hey, when you I can drink the cork that, on you it, can drink anything. When I, no, when I pop the cork on it, hey, I kill it for the night out. That's First off, that does not come with the cork. It is not near. Well, hey, I'm just saying, hey. <laughs> That's because wine ain't got no salt. His well, taste that, buds right? are gone. No. Oh, that's no so, taste buds. Do you are you a believer in vegetables out of a can? No, I'm I'm at the point. Hey, right now, time now. out now. I eat me some green beans. I'm, oh, a, yeah. I'm a canned Black vegetable guy. Peas. My wife can't stand it. Black when you said peas. can, that I had to qualify that. My vegetables don't come out of a can. They come out of a, a quart mason jar. What? That's not a can. Oh, well, they're can, but that's, it's in a mason jar. Yeah, that's somebody grew it themselves. That's right, and then put it up themselves. No, no, I'm talking about uh, if the Jolly Green Giant himself canned it. Oh, I slapped the Jolly Green Giant upside the head and said, I don't want none. See, I'm a Del Monte guy. Okay, no. Del Del probably more of a Del no, Monte I'm a Christine guy. Robertson, okay, is, hey, we grow it you, in the garden. You don't eat green she beans? She puts it up. She puts it up. Oh, yeah. She I'd puts them up. I'm going to say Oh, right you now. grow green beans. Oh, yeah. We grow whatever you can grow in the garden, and we put it up in, in pint and quart mason jar. Okay. For as strong as I am against canned chicken noodle soup, I'm for canned green beans over fresh green beans. It just oh, oh they better. don't get any better. Yeah, that, I'll, I'll agree. Oh, no. They don't get any better. Then what? Then if it's put canned by, by a yeah. human being. No, no, the by old machine. Way. See, like no, no, a green the bean. Way. Or the you human being's punching the button. So, yeah. well, you know, green bean fresh is trash because they changed the name of it. <laughs> what they change it to? <laughs> well, that's what they call Haricover, right? That's fresh green beans. Ugh, that sounds. You know, they don't say, say that, that ten times. Wait a really. What is that? What is that you just said? Because that's the first time I've ever. heard I ain't heard it either. So when you go to one of these fancy restaurants and it says, you know, you got steak with Haricover, H E R I C O T. Oh, I've -E never read that. Yeah. That's green beans. Okay, I've never read Why don't that. they just put green beans? I don't beans? know why they don't just say green beans, because they're fresh, and you can't, oh, you can't call you them why. just green beans. Oh, I'll tell you why. You could okay. say fresh green beans. Because they can quadruple the price. That's on. exactly right. Well, let's take another break. Man, we've stormed through that. i got to have some coffee. Get you some coffee. We'll All be right, back right after this. You know, there's rumor at this office that Miss K used to hand cook lunch and hand prepare lunch for everybody that worked here. Mm. Well, that might not be happening for you, but I got you a solution. It's called Factor Meals. I love them. It's a great way to start the new year. I started them on last year, and it helped me lose a bunch of weight. Yep, and it takes all the stress out of really trying to prepare a bunch of food for people. That's a fact, Jack. Miss K, this place is called Factor <laughs> oh, Meals. You're hey, a chef fact, yourself. Fact, you right? it's a fact, Jack. I am a chef. They have chef-prepared, dietitian-approved mm. meals delivered straight to your door with 35 to choose from every week. You oh, pick right. them out right there on your 35 phone. 35 to choose from. They got oh, options yeah. like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. And over 55 weekly add-ons like smoothies, snacks, the beef jerky is fantastic. Sometimes things get hectic and you got to change your order. The app is the most convenient thing ever. It's the best part of it. Boom, pause it for a week, doesn't show up that week. Then pick your order the next week. Four days later, it's there. I still love the sun-dried tomato chicken. Mm, yes. It's all the chicken it's on that sun-dried chicken, boys. It's so good. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. I order this stuff every week. And I'm on the app. I pick out my meals. They deliver them to the honey hole. In two minutes, I'm here eating lunch on the go. It's healthy. 
Low calories, what I choose. Keto's what I choose. Mm -hmm. They got bacon, ranch, chicken. Uh, you would think they even about to have some dietitians on the payroll. They do have dietitians <laughs> on the payroll. Hey, and yeah. they are delicious. I've never done the fancy ones. You can add on and get like a filet mignon. I think I'm going to try that. I tried. Just mignon. a little add on right there. Yeah. They will make the meal delicious and you will like it. I, I can guarantee you, you'll like it. And their deal's so good on the first time you do it. It's actually. It's a no-brainer to try this out, and you're going to like it, just like I did. And they help you stay on top of your goals. They have everything you need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. In addition to ready-eat meals, cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, mm. veggie sides, they're delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off. That's, That's duck50 right. at factormeals.com slash duck50 to get 50% off. You're not going to beat this. You really aren't. What are you doing over there, old man? Uh, He's writing. He, I have finished. I have finished my work of art. Mm. I've signed my name, John three sixteen, and then I added. I had on there John three sixteen was here. I added Jesus was here. He is coming back. Is okay. he? No, coming you back. Doing? That is true. That is that is a fact. One that I'm I'm looking forward to. That's it. Because you won't have to worry about no duck seasons like the one we got now. Don't have to worry about no game wardens. You know, we, <laughs> we always we always been joking about the year they never came. Well, here it is. Here it is. It's here, boys. They better kick it in gear if they gonna make it. That's right. I don't think it's coming down. Have you? Do you remember? So you've been around longer than I have. I don't remember. I don't think outside of like hurricanes, where one day the wind blew. 30 miles an hour out of one direction and then the next day it blows 30 miles an hour out of the other direction no just we back used to, to back we like, used to it started in september okay everything started in september okay because that's one of the first duck that comes south is the blue wing teal and a few green wings they would start in September, and the wind would normally, you know, come out of the north, due north. That's what I'm saying. We just had an east at 30, and now we got a west no, at no. 30. Most of the time, most of the time from September till what? Oh, 15th of January. It started, and everything would be either north northeast or northwest the whole season yeah that don't happen no more and it don't happen no more i know it was you always have... you know we was always looking for that northwest wind around 35 miles an hour and when we'd head to moss lake we were talking about, okay boys bluebird crystal day with a northwest 35 mile an hour wind that's it that's what hey, daylight would break, okay? The teal would hit us, and the jacks would kill a few of them. <laughs> and then about 9 o'clock, we'd Eesh. look toward a giant uh, cypress tree up north and look over, over it, and here they come. And big mallard, big green heads. I just love to know the fact that you enjoy shooting jacks then as much as you oh, enjoy no, no. shooting them now. Right. The two mo Things that fly. The two ducks that are the most fun to shoot are green wing teal and jacks. Yeah. Yep. You pull out in front of that lead right. jack and you kill the last two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you're lucky. No, if you're lucky. That's right. That's right. You let shoot at the lead duck about ten foot in front of him, and the one in the back is the one that folds. Yeah. It's like uh, our five. And he'll bounce he'll bounce. Oh, four or oh, five yeah. times. Yeah. Four or five times on the water like a skip, like skipping a, rock. Like a flat rock, yeah. Mm. Like a flat rock. Boom, 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 boom. The worst ones are is if it comes right straight at you and you kill him. Because I've literally had to duck, and then all you heard was is hit the mm. back of the blind. Yeah. Yeah, but then you don't got to go get it. Hey, well, you don't I have know. to get it, but it hey. bruised yeah. all up, gumbo. Oh, no, bro. hey, there's been people hurt in their duck blinds from falling ducks. It's dangerous. Duck hunting is dangerous. No, no. No, no, you think about it. A duck, is, a duck is okay. 
But you think about a Canadian honker goose. Oh, he'll take you out. You you raise up and shoot one of them and he hits you. Whew. I've seen him okay. fall. Oh, no, he'll knock you out. Have you ever been hit by a Canadian goose falling from the sky? I've had him hit brush me as he fell in the blind. <laughs> and it knocked me down. A goose is a big animal. Oh, no. Giant. Yes, Martin? That's like my favorite day ever. What? I haven't <laughs> had to say anything. This is fantastic. <laughs> That boy over there been on a roll. Well, no, no, but hey, yo. <laughs> Look at the glitter hey, in his you eye. You got to think gleam about that. In his eye. He had a good night. Oh, oh no. yeah. Has anyone ever been impaled by a broken goose wing falling from yeah. the sky, though? Yeah. I'm sure somebody has. No, no. Me, I get out the way. Oh, yeah. They get stuck. <laughs> and, hey, blood, blood is everywhere. I have I'm, seen, I'm serious. I have seen them idiots try to catch them and then get a bone poked through their No, throat. no. Yeah. I just yep. get out the way. Let him hit. Let him hit the ground. Yeah, because I just, hey. Uh, catching them's fun, though. Yeah, well, no, no. You I've never hey, done it. Most yeah. people don't really. You got a bone through your hand. Yo, you kill a geese, go, a big goose, Canadian honker, like 40 yards high. That's a lot of weight. Well, hey, down. he's folded and coming down. Well, the next thing you're going to hear is, is just, just. He had to do two hands with that slap. <laughs> oh, it's a thud. Yeah, okay. You don't want to hit you, y'all. Yeah. Oh, man. The splash is the best part. And, hey, and don't chase, you know, like some people get out of the blind without a gun and go, go get a cripple. You just you just wasted your whole day. Oh, you got to be a mean tough. sport. It's a mean sport. Mean mm. sport, he said. Hey, it is. It's <laughs> Missiles falling hey, it's from them, the sky. Hey, it's, them yeah. or, it's to get them against you. Get okay, on but, the side but, of a hill with your, <laughs> with your side by side and it turn over. Oh, that's it. Like, Man, I cannot wait to get home tonight and lay my head on that my pillow, buddy. Oh, your man. pillow or my pillow? My pillow. How you know it's yours? It might be mine. Because I ordered it and it said it's my pillow. That's why. And I'm going to climb up into my sheets and I'm going to go into a long winter slumber. I'm tired. It's time to hibernate. I guarantee And the only way to do it is with Mike Lindell's fantastic products. Ain't that the truth? And right now, if you're interested... My pillow is excited to bring you their biggest bedding sale ever. Even if you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, you want to buy yourself something nice, do it. Because right now you can get the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight, and you can add a set of pillowcases for as low as nine ninety eight. They have blankets in a variety of sizes, colors, and styles. They even have blankets for your pets. You name it for the bed, they got it. Duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, so much more, and it's all with the biggest discounts ever. Ever. And all you have to do is go to mypillow.com slash duck right now and use promo code duck. There you go. And look, we all we all love them, right? The slippers. I love them. The towel. Not the slippers. Paula likes the slippers. Size has been on that robe. That's right, the robe, boy. He's got a, he now has a TV robe. That's it. Yeah, just like wild. Them fancy motels got. Yeah. There you go. It's that butter. <laughs> and it's all made by a great American, Michael and Dale. And that's the cool thing. So, I mean, whether you need towels, Pillows, you name it. Anything for your house, they got you, big dog. They they got you, and you use them every day. And all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck. Or you can call 800-969-3137. You'll get huge discounts on all MyPillow bedding products, including the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98, and get all your shopping done now while quantities last Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or call 800-969-3137 to get your Giza Dream Sheets now. You've killed more ducks than any human being to ever live. Um, how many would you say almost hit you? A uh, bunch. I'd say probably at least a hundred. A hundred. Yeah, I've ducked. That's a low number. I've I've ducked a hundred duck coming in after they are dead, and they're just coming in the blind. Okay. The best one is never is, hits you. No, no. The best one is I've been I was, hit. I was out on the gun porch. Mac Owens is in the kitchen cooking us biscuits, eggs, and bacon and everything. Got to do it, As look and hey, pride and joy. Here comes right one there. long wood duck, and he's up there. I mean, he's up there high. And he's moving fast. So, hey, yeah, and he's flying, and he comes over. I raised up about 10 foot in front of him, and just boom. Yo, I shot. Max got a a uh, plate in each hand for somebody to eat. 
And it takes him about three minutes to get out on the gun porch. And then, you know, he sees, he sees the woody fall. It took the wood duck that long to fall. That's took, how high he was. It took him three minutes. Okay. And he said, good grief. Who shot that? And I said, hey. Wayne caught him. Ain't but one person, son. Kill that, kill him that eye. And it landed on the it, it, oh, board? Hey, it landed in the blind. And it took He's, three minutes to fall. Owen said, hey, that was, he was up there, wasn't he? I said, he was up there. How fast do wood ducks fly? Pretty fast. Well, they they everybody well, apparently says, a lot faster than they fall. If you look if you look <laughs> look it up, I think they say they fly like sixty. Uh huh. But what do you say they fly? Hey, look on the downhill sail. Oh, they up in they are in the hundred miles an hour. On the downhill sail, like a green wing tail on the downhill. How do their sail? feathers not come off when they go that oh. fast? <laughs> well, hey, they it, it is wild that they don't. But if you ever heard a bunch of wing, green wing teal coming down from a downhill sail, it sounds like a jet aircraft coming over you. Mm. You literally think it How is a jet aircraft. How fast does a canvas back fly? Yeah. And then, hey, canvas back, that's the fastest duck on the wing, they say. Yep. They say that's the fastest that's one. That's Paula's favorite Well, duck. hey, I, clack, I clocked a green wing teal. And he was cruising. He had it on cruise control, running 75. Hmm. Okay, and that's just on a straight. He's like 10 foot above water. So and just, he's, he's, he's going right side by side. I'm in, I'm in my truck on the highway, I-20. I can't even get it there. Okay, and look, he's running side by side, and I look at my speed on it. It's 75 miles an hour. Oh. And like I'm saying, he was on cruise control. Good, because he wasn't even he wasn't even you know, like on a downhill sail. I'm telling you, you can double that. I can, you should have seen some of them woodies this morning in that 40 mile an hour wind. Hey, the first, oh, no. the they first come by me so fast, I, I couldn't even grab my gun. I said, <laughs> "That's sporty shit." Oh, well, no, no. The Not first time that. I he ever gone. went duck hunting. Not that, hey, I've had them backpedaling in the decoys with 25 mile an hour wind. You know, they're fighting the wind coming in. We shot one time, and, hey, they are 150 yards away after we pulled the trigger one time because they threw them wings back, and, son, they are out of there. Mm, they gone. So, hey, when they say, I think they say a duck normally flies like 75, <laughs> you know. Well, I've clocked them at 75. I know they do 75 on cruise control. Just cruising. Just cruising. Now, you see them up there when they look like mosquitoes, and you call them, and then they do like them aircraft in the movies. They're the target boys, and they all bail out just. Yeah. Well, hey, when they start coming down. How do they not they into They're each other? breaking the sound barrier. I've heard it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because it's just, it's just a. When you hear them come over you. The first time I ever went hunting down at Phil's, it was with Stone and Cy, and he yelled about cruise control and 75 miles per hour for a good 60 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, I, that's, a, that's a true story. I actually was on I-20 in the Delta going by rice fields, and, hey, a green wing teal is flying. I looked at my speed on it. He's doing 75. And, look, he's just kind of. He's just it, tipping. He's, just, he's on cruise, cruise control. Yeah, cruise control. Yeah. That's well, how hey, they if get, you've ever watched one come out of the sky. That's how they get down here so fast from Canada. Well, well, you talking about that. We killed a wood duck. Look, he was banded like 4 a, uh, p.m. in the evening in Seattle, Washington. We killed him at 4 p.m. the next day on Gillum, Louisiana's Old River. So mm. you're saying in 24 hours that duck flew from Seattle to Louisiana? He he flew. He took his time. He he flew from Seattle, Washington, where they released him, mm -hmm. to Dixie, Louisiana, on Red River, the following evening in what? I think 12 hours. Yeah, he 12 took hours. his time. Yeah, and he was he wasn't even flying fast. Is that the one that fell for three minutes? Huh. No, the, hey, no, the highest one I ever seen was Jason Robertson kill, killed a, uh, I think it was a gadwall. Yeah, 
Was that a ten, ten gauge. gauge? Yeah. How long yeah. did he fall? Oh, I said we. I think we counted uh, one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five, one thousand six, one thousand seven, one thousand eight. Splash. That's one late thousand Ross. nine, one thousand ten. Another splash because he killed two. But it, this was with a ten gauge shotgun. Yeah. He, and he didn't there. even fall for three minutes. Mm-mm. Well, three no. minutes. If you fall for three minutes, I looked it up. That's 98 miles. I tell you, Si is the only one that can shoot a duck and kill both of them. That's right, boys. <laughs> when they have it one. Now, he's also the only man that cannot shoot and kill three of them. That's yeah, right. that's right. That's right, Dave. Hey, I'm, Open the, only bar. Man, I'm the only man known alive. Stare. Okay, that, that kill three for three with blanks. <laughs> okay, because they told me. They told me, hey, we put blanks in your shotgun. I said, well, I said, you boys just seen a miracle. And they said, what are you talking about? I said, because, hey, I was three for three with these blanks. I said, that's when you know. You're good. You Mm -hmm. are a true shotgunner. That's right. If you can kill three for three with blanks, boys. With just the wads. (laughs) Okay, that's it. Kill them with the wads, boys. Knock them out. I've seen that happen before, boys. Bill Robertson put the wad in, in the chest of a big old Mallard Drake. Yeah. Seen that. The pellets were gone, but the wad killed him. Well, the pellets probably went through him. <laughs> well, it, it did. did. It did. <laughs> but, but the pellet, but the, the, the wad, plastic wad, was stuck in his chest. Martin, how do you feel about everything you just heard? That's just some fundamental mathematics problems with most of it. Just uh, sum it up. Sum ain't sum no it up right problem right. on that. That actually happened. Oh, with the wadden? Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. done that before. Oh, no. I fixed that. He stuck the wadden in a big mess. That's when they're tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when they're up there close with you. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, a, when, that's, that's, when, they, that's when they're in there too yeah. close. That's when you ain't got to leave them. No. Well, no. You just point <laughs> yeah, yeah. it. You just there. go, boom. The wadden will go through a, a drop tile ceiling, though. It will do that. <laughs> I saw that. What? Easy. To the ceiling. ceiling? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Johnny D shot a hole in his ceiling. Well, hey, wasn't me. You know. There you go. <laughs> Desk pop. You, uh, hey, did you kill that termite you shooting at? The what? No. The termite. I, I just wondered what would happen if you shot a wad at the ceiling one day and was sitting at my desk, so I did it. He did do it. Scared me to death. There was somebody cleaning a shotgun that was, was unloading. You cut the pellets out uh-huh, and yeah. it went off? Well, I guess so because the wad got it packed. Did it go off? Oh, it, yeah. it was even extra loud because it was indoors. Did it so, go off? Yeah. yeah. It went off. Lord. Did it go off? That wad went straight through the ceiling. Yeah, there's a perfect wad in size hole where his yeah. ceiling was. That's why I bet that wad's still up there above that office somewhere. That I tells you. You already did the find ceiling. If the rat find it. That tells you how powerful it is. The pellets are gone. And all that was there was the powder charge. With it's the, still with a projectile. The yeah, you don't want to get shot by it. Oh, no. Yeah. No, that hurt. Yep. But here we are. Hunter don't know what to think today. I looked Maybe. over at him a couple of times. He's just like, what are y'all talking about? Look at his eyes. Well, Fast hey. ducks falling. Yeah. He said, this ain't even leisure no more. Like, what is this? Well, is hey, look, he just he's tells put, you. That goes to show you. He's putting okay. little tabs in there. Hunting, hunting is dangerous. You know? It is dangerous. It is dangerous. Here we go. You've got a loaded weapon. Have you ever read Hunter's notes that he that he takes while we're talking. I don't know. Some of them I send to him. I'm no. like, yeah, cut that. No, cut those that. are hilarious. Yesterday, he puts for some reason in there a lot. Hey, they cut for the some reason. They always cut They're, the best stuff. My notes are to keep or for fun for me and for whoever else reads them. Yeah, no, no. no. We know what you're doing over there, Hunter. <laughs> yes, today's for sure says He's now we're talking names. about canned green beans for uh, some reason. For some yeah, reason. we got in right, canned green healthy. beans to. Almost. So just no, soup. My my notes say duck hunting is dangerous. Geese are dangerous. Being impelled by geese is dangerous. <laughs> Being attacked by geese is dangerous. It right. is dangerous. And look, they're destructive as they all get out. They'll bust your eardrums. Hey, they alive. Drush, they look anything. That's not, the, that's not what I'm talking about. That's a hey, can, Canadian. That's but Canadian. Look, he's mad at you right now. He's hot. When they destroy their own habitat, you know they got an attitude problem. Yeah. That goose was just a mad. He was getting after you already. That's right. You just put him up there. He was trying to whoop that little old pretty, pretty wood duck. 28,000 emails? Really? Quit looking at my stuff. 
Really? I'm just trying to match the amount of claymores it's going to take to get rid of the geese. Oh, no, no. Hey, uh, you just no, remind stop, me of stop. something. No, 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 oh, no, yes. no, 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 oh, no, no, yes. no, no, no. We got to go. We got to take a break. We got to get in the emails. No. Okay. We're, we're All right. Back. We got to yeah. take good. a break. Good. All right. We'll be back. Oh, good. That great. Would they, be y'all pretty. just started something there, boys. Emails. Hello at duckballroom.com. Is the email address. Johnny D, what do we have in there? Well, Goblin's back. Surely there's something yeah. we've been saving for Goblin. Huh. I yeah. did have something yeah, I was you saving for Goblin. That's right. You but you got to go through all them emails. I got it. I'm going to go to that find. one second. But Goblin, have you heard of whole body deodorant? Whole body deodorant. Have you heard of it? I've never heard of it. I feel like that's that. something you would be in on. I just do it under my arms. See, but now they got whole body deodorant. I got that. But Cassandra emailed in and told me that that is for women, for underarms, and other places. No. But Cassandra, no, they make it for men now, That's so right. I need to clear that up. That's it, right. It's called the bod. No, it's called, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but. Hey, mine's called the bod. That's gross. That ain't gross. It's, it's, that, hey, I've told, been told by on, thousands of women in. that I smell. It's a whole wonderful. body deodorant. Yeah. Imagine just lathering it up. Is it a spray? Yeah. No, it's the lather. You put it on while you're taking a shower. Yes. Mine's too, too. It's a great too. system. Well, that's just Mine's a scented soap. Bourbon deodorant. That just sounds and, like lotion. And the yeah. bod. Right. Just, Never mind. Just a I thought it was a soap. good idea. That lady's been on the TV a thousand that's times right. lately. Okay. We're not worried about it. Anyway, Amaya has a question specifically for it's John good. Godwin. Okay. Throughout your podcast, it has been stated multiple times that Godwin hates the cold. Water. Water. Yeah. You're not Ice. afraid of cold air. Ice. No. No. She Ice. got a coat for that. She said. <laughs> <laughs> a coat of many colors. She's yeah. wanting you to look into this. You may be allergic to cold water. Oh, oh I am. And you might not think that's a thing, but her mom's allergic to cold. But, but basically, if you have allergic reactions to the cold, you might like, do you get rashes and stuff if you're in no. cold water? No. I just, my muscles lock up. So, he ain't lying. <laughs> he ain't lying. It's like, if I would get in cold water, it's just like a, a surge. It just, I just, you could phobia. break me in half pretty easy. He's got a phobia. And he goes, Arr! So is that, do we think that's allergic or just a phobia? I, don't, I just think that's, I don't like it. It's a phobia. A fear of the cold. I jumped in my parents' pool on New Year's Day. It was really cold. I'm stupid. <laughs> and stupid. I, I'm agreeing. I'm not even going to argue. Denied it. He ain't denied it. So you, do we think he's allergic to cold or just not into the cold? No, he's not I into the cold. I don't like it because it just hurts. It's a fear or a phobia. I, I don't. He's not scared of it. He's yeah, like, yeah. He don't like it. Hey, he's just scared of it. Do he what? don't want to get cold. If I was scared of that's it, I wouldn't, wouldn't be a duck on that. That's why he wouldn't go out on the ice. That's a good point. He he duck hunts 60 days a year, so he's not afraid of the cold water. He just prefers not to be around. I don't like he it. He prefers on, to not be in it. I don't that, like it. Yeah. Hey, you can go from that to fear. Yeah. It ain't with just a short distance between fear, them. paranoia. Yeah, fear, well, everybody paranoia. else is gonna say, you don't, know how them hey, Robertson are. Like they gonna it. make hey. up a story. Yeah. Hey, well, I, I, hey, like snakes. I don't like snakes. You know why? You scared of them. I'm scared of them. That's fine. I was. Just, I got a fear and a phobia of snakes. When Amaya brought up that her mom was aller- legitimately allergic to cold. Oh, okay. So this was like, a. She's like a cold. Air. If it gets cold, it's a medical. Statement. She has a medical issues. Yeah. Wow. I was like, yeah. maybe she was just wanting to check in yeah. on God and make sure that wasn't his thing. No, that ain't. That ain't what happened. Oh, I just, I've, I've my seen. muscles just lock up. I mean, it don't last a long time, but it, it just hurts. It's I still go back mind. to that day me and Goblin were at the gym together showering and something happened and the hot water went out. Yeah. We're, it, in, it separate, we're in separate stalls, man. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You got to learn how to tell a story, man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we, we I remember out. a couple days hey, ago, me and Goblin water. were taking a shower together. I can right, see it. Now, okay. I can see it. Okay. But there's just... there's a little Robert. It wasn't a couple of days ago. It's been like eight years ago. Yeah. For one. The and hot we water. Had, we worked out. Non-existent. We worked out, and we were taking hot showers, getting ready to come work, yeah. mm-hmm. side by side in different stalls, and the hot water said, "Whoop!" Yeah, and now it's cold. cold. And, and I was like, "Man, that's cold." <laughs> and next door to me, I heard, Arr! and I was yeah. like, "What in the world?" 
He said, a bear and then, coming into the next stall. Then he did it again. Yeah. A bear coming into the stall so, over there. So me, I had to know. So I peeked my head up over the stall because I'm six four. And Godwin, just like he said, it locked him up. He couldn't reach the faucet to turn, turn it, it off. off. Oh, it hurt. Now, I may be. I may be. Something. That, that's no, no, something. You probably do have. Because uh, my muscles. So, just, yeah. I mean, he, he could not yeah. reach up, turn the faucet off. So I reached over and turned it off for him. And I was like, what in the world? Are you okay? He said, that cold water. man. And it went from like a hot shower to. Yeah. Buddy, I'm talking cold. about cold. Yeah, it was cold. cold. Yeah. It was cold now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. ain't, I ain't trying to sugarcoat that or, or or downplay it or. Oh, no, I've been there. Nothing. It yeah. went from yeah. really nice shower to cold. And I was yeah. like, because when it hit me, which wasn't no big deal, I was like, oh, man, I just reached up there and turned it off real quick. I was like, wow, that that's brisk. That'll wake you up. Yeah. But guy, guy one was so locked up. And where it was hitting him was like beet red. It was like it, you might have some because it was like be. hitting him like right here, mm -hmm. right there. Right I, right. Like, oh, I, I would, I wouldn't like it, but I'd be like, okay, let me turn this off real fast. If yeah, it, the rest if of it's us can. You up, the rest of us can reach up there and just slap it off, slap the water off. But God, when, I mean, he had just like his fist clenched. It was one of oh, the funniest man. things I've ever seen. When I was it's, in college, it hurts my back. When I was in college, it's, it is painful. Yeah, he tenses up so much. It it that's I, not good. I see it. You it might was, have something. It was wild. He's he's allergic to it. When I was in college, my buddy would always be singing Stone Temple Pilots in the shower, and it'd drive me crazy. So I'd get a bucket of ice water and go throw it over the shower. If you did that to God, one that's hateful. It's hilarious. I'd, no, that's hateful. I'd, I'd key. <laughs> I would never do. That's what yeah. I'm getting to. Once Godwin got warmed up, he'd be right. dead. Yeah, you think mm -hmm. get whooped. <laughs> now, you yeah. probably got five to ten yeah. seconds to yeah. get a really good get head away. start. But oh, run. that's funny. Run. Godwin, what would you do if you just stand there taking a hot shower? Somebody dumped a bucket of ice water on you. They'd know who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, y'all can't see his eyes. You can't say There's that. There's anger in him. Yeah. You don't a, want to throw cold water on his breath. It's a uh, hypothetical <laughs> situation. I don't so we, never. We, we, would, have, we would have a discussion. No, never throw a snake on you, cold water yeah. on you. No. Uh, you're risking getting hurt, and that's a good way to live. No, yeah. I was walking towards side with like a 12-inch, 12, 15-inch water snake, little baby, and he pulled his shotgun out on me. That's hey. Like, never mind. I don't. I, I don't care if it's a gray snake. Yeah. I will shoot both of you. Yeah, he wouldn't kidding. I really we're, don't not, care. we're not throwing snakes at anybody. He wasn't kidding about that. When I moved that boat and that little snake come crawling out from <laughs> under, and I grabbed it, started walking towards him. All I heard was. Ch -ch -ch. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> no, never mind. Joke's over. No, no more joking. Yeah. Ain't no more joking. There. No joke zone here, boys. Yeah. He, he no, homie, no. don't play that. Mm -mm. Anyways, I, I just don't. There's nothing. I don't, mm. Is there something that would set you off like See, that's that? the biology. Cold water and spiders. or snakes. Spiders. Yeah, I don't like spiders, but I mean, I don't care. Like, If somebody were to walk at you with a spider, would you threaten murder? He, he would back no. up. I'd well, be like, keep that thing to yourself. Well, hey, that's Especially one of them big old hairy tarantulas. Hold on. Like that got hairy? Yeah. Uh, no, that, they got spiders to bite you. Paper leaf. Like, no, that's bad business. Yeah. I, Anything that'll bite you and it'll rot out. Oh yeah, but for the most part, like a okay. spider, like the reason that they don't bother me so much, you can step on him. You're like, faster than yeah, a spider. It's, yeah. it's not that big of a deal. But that's why I don't like horses. You, you don't. You don't like horses. You're not faster than him. I like to be the highest thing on the food chain wherever I'm at without a weapon. <laughs> yeah, horses, I'm not. They'll kill you. Yeah, they'll I throw mean, you off. I know that. So I'm not getting on one. Yeah, I don't Man. trust them. Mm -mm. They got that weird look on their face. Boy, I bet we had a horse. It's very long. And, and Paula was chasing them cans. <laughs> and I was, can chase them. And I, he was he was he was a nervous horse. <laughs> we'll say that. I and I fed him sweet feed for a week, <laughs> and we went to a roping, and she was out there, <laughs> out there in the arena, and, and that thing throwed her off. Oh, she's mad. Oh, well, I had one jump out from under me. A horse? How does a horse oh, jump he, out? Oh, he under? will. He literally, hey, uh, I think I think the uh, uh, belly strap broke. I'm not sure. So you was but, just left there with a saddle? No, 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 no. Look, I'm going to tell you how fast this horse was. <laughs> the guy that owned the horses, I'm on the horse. He's telling me how to ride. Well, I've been riding since my child. I just got tired of it, and I just, hey, I just, Kick the horse from both sides. Well, hey, the next time I know, I'm still in the saddle and I hit the ground 
And I look, and the horse is one mile away going across the highway. You fall as slow as the duck. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I'm still, yo, and I, hey, as soon as he jumped on his horse, a big red roan, he called him, come back, you know, checked it, and then resaddled him, and I said, hey, let me get back on him. He said, oh, no, no, we fixed to go to the barn. I said, no, I want to ride that. I said, I just got the name for that horse. He said, what? I said, lightning, and I want to ride him. <laughs> ride the lightning. Sucker, <laughs> hey, because that sucker can run, buddy. Woo. He won't let me ride him. Unbelievable. Oh, that's mm. funny. Well, go but ahead, hey, Johnny D. Send us out of here. Matthew 10, 42. I did not know this was a verse until about <laughs> 10 <laughs> seconds ago. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. Don't give them. Don't give God one a cup of cold water, but other people might want well, give him a cup. You, you don't give, give me a cup. Just don't splash just it on. Don't pour <laughs> just, it. Don't pour it. just don't pour it down his back. Yeah, yeah that's right. Don't pour it on.